So hello, um, my name is Jeff Lee. I uh, work for Open Kernel Labs. Um, my uh, main responsibilities within Open Kernel Labs is maintaining the OK Linux port. Um, so today, I just want to give a brief introduction of uh, what OK Linux is and how that sort of fits within the uh, overall OKL4 architecture. So what I've got on the board here is the um, overall OK, uh, OKL4 architecture. And OK Linux is just sort of here um, as a part of OKL4. Um, OK Linux is implemented using a method called paravirtualization, which means uh, modifying the, uh, the Linux kernel um, to run on top of OKL4. Um, and what we've done is implement L4 as a pseudo architecture. Um, one of the benefits of this is it allows us to easily support OK Linux on uh, architectures for which there are already OK L4 ports. For, so for example, this allows us to support the ARM architecture and the x66 architecture with um, a OK with an L4 architecture with minimal changes, uh, with minimal uh, assembly code that are um, x66 or ARM specific. Um, in the OK Linux um, uh, port, it, it allows um, us to run unmodified Linux applications, as you can see here. In fact, what you can do is uh, all of the libraries and the um, applications, the legacy Linux applications, can run unmodified on top of OK Linux. And OK Linux will take care of all the, um, the architecture specific details. Um, you can also run um, OK L4 applications alongside OK Linux. And you can interact with these um, between OK Linux and OK L4. Uh, using a uh, fast uh, L4 IPC or using shared memory. So um, I guess it concludes, um, this concludes our um, brief introduction into OK Linux and uh, how that fits in with the uh, OK L4 architecture. Um, if you're interested in knowing more, you can visit our website at www.ok-labs.com. Um, thanks for watching.